Hi, it's Faith from the Mesothelioma Center. We're here with another health and wellness video for you today, and we're going to be talking about a purposeful breathing exercise that you can use to help release anxiety and relax. Now in yoga, these breathing exercises are known as pranayama, and the one that we're going to be working on today is called Nada Shodhana in Sanskrit. In English, that translates to channel cleaning or purifying breath. Now the full practice of this pranayama can get into things like breathing ratios and mantras, but we're going to keep things simple and just focus on the inhalation and the exhalation. Now if your breathing isn't obstructed, it is traditional to hold your breath for a few counts before you exhale, but if your symptoms are going to make that difficult for you in any way, don't worry about making that a part of your practice. What I do want you to do is focus on slowing down. The exercise is intended to help you relax, so even if you aren't going to be holding your breath, don't rush yourself and still focus on taking your time. You're going to start by balling your hand up into a fist. From there, stretch out your thumb, ring finger, and pinky finger. Leave your index and middle fingers down. It may help to press them into the cushy mound beneath your thumb. Bring your hand to your face and place your thumb on your right nostril. Inhale through the left. Then shift your hand and exhale through the right. Inhale again and shift your hand to exhale through the left. And that's one cycle. Now you can go through that three to five times and then return to normal breathing. Nada Shadana is a really simple exercise that you can do anywhere that you need the relief. Maybe at home, at a doctor's appointment where you're feeling anxious. And if you're really interested in these breathing exercises, you can check out a gentle or cancer-oriented yoga class in your area because these tend to spend a lot of time focusing on breathing exercises like this one. And if you've tried any of them, come on over to asbestos.com and let us know how they've worked for you. We'll see you next time.